Hello. So today we're going to revise the present perfect simple in English. Okay. First of all, let's talk about its use. When do I use the present perfect simple? Now, I use it when, whenever I want to talk about an action that started in the past. In the past and maybe they finished or they continue to the present. So actions that started in the past but may have finished at the present or may still be in progress. Actually, we put more emphasis on the fact that this tense connects the past to the present. What do I mean? I say, for example, today, I have written three essays. So since it's still today, they haven't changed, I may write more. Okay. I have written three essays. I may write more essays. Okay. This year, I have been uh, on two trips so far. Still the same year. I may go on a, on one more trip or two more or I don't know how many. Okay, so it connects the past with the present. I also use this tense whenever I want to talk about experiences. For example, I may say, "This is the best meal I have ever had." Okay, so it's an experience of mine. Uh, or I may say. He is the worst chef I have ever met. Okay, it's still an experience. Now, uh, mind you, we use this tense whenever we have the superlative tense, the best, the worst, etc. Okay, or I, I could say something like, I have never been to Asia. Okay, so I'm narrating experiences. So, let's see how we form this tense that I think it has already become obvious. So, what we do is we use the verb have plus the past participle. Okay, so have written, have been, have had, have met, okay, have been again here. Okay, so in order to form it, we have the auxiliary verb have and then the past participle. If the verb is regular, I have the, the verb with the ending ed, I have played. If the verb is irregular, I use the past participle, I have driven. Now, in order to form the interrogative, I invert the auxiliary verb with the subject pronoun. So, have I played? Have you played? Have I driven? Have you driven? Etc. Okay. Now, in the third person, mind you, it is has. Has he played? Has he driven? Okay, etc. And then in the affirmative, it is also like this. He has played. He has driven. Okay. Now, in the interrogative, I still use the past participle. Okay, I don't remove it as I did in the civil past. Now, when it comes to negative, in order to form it, I, I just use the word not. So, I haven't played. He hasn't played. Okay, that's the formation of the present perfect simple. Now, uh, so we use this tense whenever we want to connect the past with the present. Okay, mind you, there are certain phrases with been and gone would have a different meaning. So if I say, I have been to the USA once, it means I have visited. So I have been to means I have visited the USA. Whereas when somebody asks you, where is your mom? And you say, where's your mom? She has gone. Oops. Come on. She has gone at the hairdressers. You mean that she's still there? She's not here. Okay. So she's still there. 
which means not here. Okay. Now, and there's one more instance. I may say, um, my brother has been in China for a year now, which means that he lives there temporarily. Okay. He lives there temporarily for a short period. Okay, but he may come back at some point. Now, hmm, let's talk about the present perfect continuous. Okay, now, when it comes to the use of this tense, we have the same uh, time reference. So something started in the past and, well, it is definitely going on now, still, it continues at the present. And we emphasize the duration, okay? Um, so, for example, I say I have been writing essays for three hours today. Okay, I started the hours of all, but it's still going on. It's still in progress, okay? And I emphasize the fact that it has been three hours, okay? Now... We also use this tense whenever we want to talk about actions that um, have um, a result, an obvious result of the present. So, for example, I may say something like, the roads, uh, the roads are wet. It has been raining all morning. Okay. So we have the results at the moment, at present, okay? I have been writing essays for three hours today, the roads are wet, it has been raining all morning. Or I could say something like, John is red. He has been running in the marathon. Okay, poor John. Okay, so let's see how we form it. Even though it has become obvious now, I have the auxiliary verb have, then been, been, plus ing in the verb, in the main verb. So I have been studying for a long time. You have been studying. He, she, it has been studying. And then we, they have been studying. Okay. Now, if I want to form the interrogative, I invert. Have I been studying? Has he been studying? Etc. And the negative with the word not. So I say something like, I haven't been studying. He hasn't been studying. Okay. Now, another use of this tense is when I want to, you know, um, accuse somebody, but in a subtle way. Who has been using my subgroup? Because I see some of it is missing. Okay, so I may indirectly accuse someone. Who has been using my laptop? Okay. Who has been writing with my pen? And stuff like that. Okay. Now, mind you that if I have stated verbs, um, I may use the present perfect simple. Okay, I made a mistake here, and now I noticed it. Here it's continuous. Okay. <laughs> Present perfect continuous keeps on. Okay. <laughs> so, um, okay. Uh, if I have stated verbs, that's what, that's what I was saying, um, I may use the present perfect simple instead of the present perfect continuous. So... I might say something like, he has known her for a long time. So even though I have the phrase for a long time, which implies that it has duration, I will not use present perfect continuous, but rather I will use the present perfect simple, okay? Because the verb know is a stated verb that doesn't take the ing form, okay? 
Well, that's all guys about the present perfect tenses. See you in the next video.